Joseph was the most popular person to graduate from Huntington High School, but he knew no one. In fact, he got a, he got a standing ovation at his graduation ceremony. Uh, everybody in this school knew of or had some relationship with Joe, but yet not too many of the kids ever took any time. No, no, I don't like talking about him in front of him. That's hard for me to do. Uh, they, not, none of them would call him to go to the movies or anything like that, uh, or to have lunch, or to go to the mall, or go swimming, or anything like that. But yet they all knew about Joe. They, Teenagers' self-images are not high enough to walk down the halls with him when, when he's saying all his little sillies and stuff. And, you know, they're trying to find themselves in the world, and they don't have enough time and energy to find Joseph. How did Joseph What? How did, jo how did you feel about that? About what? About what she was just talking about. What were you talking about? Exactly what he just did. Mm -hmm. Totally oblivious. This was his school, and there were a few people that made dents on his life, and that was it. And that was it. That was it. December 11th, 1984. When would, what day of the week would December 11th, 1984 fall on? Tuesday. Right again. How about December 11th, 1983? That's on Sunday. Okay. Let's try some hard dates. One. Think you can handle that? Yeah. Okay. July 4th, 1976. Set was Sunday. You're absolutely right. Yeah, 79. Although intellectually handicapped in many areas, Joseph has rote memory and mathematical skills that enable him to perform some extraordinary mental feats. This curious behavior occurs because autism doesn't distort all the functions of the developing brain equally, so that special abilities may be evident in an otherwise retarded person. Dr. Barnett Addis, the director of this film, demonstrates Joseph's abilities. Okay, how about something harder? Let's try 775 squared. 600,625. Right. How about 4,555 squared? What? 4,555 squared. It's a big number. 20,748,025. You want to know something? Yeah. You're absolutely right. Buzz. 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 How'd you get so good at doing that, Joe? It just did in my head. You just did it in your head? Yeah. Have you always done it in your head? Yeah. Do you remember when you first did it? No. Let me ask you this. Do you remember when we first came and filmed you? Yeah. What that year was that? That was in 1967. 1967. And where did we do it at? It, uh, we did it in the month of April at our mm -hmm. Crow Ridge house, which is located in Voorheesville. Mm-hmm. And do you remember how long I was there filming you? Nope. I think it was about two or three days. Did you ever see the film that we made? Yeah. Do you remember what it was called? Invisible Wall. How'd you like it? I liked it a lot. What was that film about? There were other kids in it too, wasn't there? It, it was me looking out the window from a living room, from the living room window. Mm -hmm. The subject of that film, what that film was all about, infantile autism, does that mean anything special to you? No, it doesn't. Do you know what infantile autism is? No. Has anyone ever talked to you about that? No. Okay. Why are we here filming you now? Do you have any idea? Because I'm on television. What does that mean to be? Doesn't mean anything. 